Hello and um, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make some 15% SDS paint gels. And yeah, first you have to put your um, glasses on top of each other so that there is a gap, a clear gap between them and make sure you can fit in your comb. And uh, yeah, once that you make sure it's um, fitting right, um, you can take it as is and yeah, take one of those um, plastic uh, glass holders that if you work or live in a laboratory, you should have one of these. And you want to place your glass uh, exactly like you're holding it into um, the plastic glass holder like so, pushing it in. Make sure they're exactly leveled and tap a little bit to make sure um, yeah, there is no gap in the bottom because if there is even a little bit, you're gonna get leakage of your um, gel when you're pouring it in and that will be really annoying. Um, so make sure you do it right so that there's no gap, you won't get a leakage, and all your work won't go to waste. And you can even do um, a check of um, your apparatus to make sure your glasses are, um, they don't have any broken edges in the bottom. And some people even do like a high percentage gel, plug gel in, in the bottom, but I don't do that because I'm sure there's no leakage. So here's the recipe. It's very easy for 15% gels. You need 2.5 ml of water. Very easy. 2.5 ml of your buffer for the lower gel, which is 1.5 molar tris, I believe. I'm going to put the details in the description with the pH and exact um, everything. So whatever your bottom buffer is, I put 2.5 ml, so 2.5, 2.5, and then 5 ml of the polyacrylamide, uh, not the poly, but uh, the bis um, tris 30% solution, um, that you need 5 ml. So just to repeat, 2.5, 2.5, and 5. That is how I do it and it works for me really well um, it's easy to remember even if you lose your things you can always make it like this and yeah here's the solution 30 percent uh, bisacrylamide solution and yeah it's very viscous so when you're pipetting it make sure you're doing it carefully and there are no air bubbles or anything and after you add this part you want to make sure you mix it really well just by inverting your tube a couple of times so that you have a really homogeneous solution and the viscous um, acrylamide solution is just everywhere in the solution otherwise you will get if you pour your gel with without mixing it well you might get some uh, inconsistency throughout it and your migration patterns will not be accurate. So definitely give it a couple shakes. And yeah, before adding SDS, you can really shake it well and it won't um, make a foam. So I really suggest doing a lot of shaking before adding SDS. Now I'm adding APS, which is one of the ingredients that will help with the polymerization process. So I add about 0.02 grams to about 200 microliters of water. And this will give you about a 10% solution of APS. And you want to make sure you make this fresh. If you use something from a long time ago, it's not gonna work and you're just gonna sit there and your gel won't polymerize at all and it's again very annoying so make this fresh every time 
and make sure you never get water in the actual APS bottle because yeah then you would have to ask your professor to order more and you will just waste a bottle of APS so that is very important and then you add about 67 microliter of APS to enough solution for two gels that I'm giving to you guys but um, what I'm doing right now is that I'm dividing my solution because I'm making one gel without a, um, SDS and one with SDS so I can do both SDS page and native gel electrophoresis but for you guys you can just make it the, enough for two gels with SDS add about 100 microliters of SDS solution 10% and 67 microliter about that much APS and mix it well you can um, mix all of these and wait a little bit but the important thing is once you add TMA to your solution you have to pour your gel immediately because that is what triggers the polymerization um, process to happen quickly and yeah so you can have some time between adding SDS and APS until adding TMED nothing will happen um, but yeah definitely when you add your TMED you're gonna see <coughs> polymerization happening so um, yeah you want to <coughs> sorry about that um, yeah so here I'm just mixing it really well again and I'm gonna add TMED I add about uh, two microliters just because I have enough time today to um, wait but if you really want to speed up the polymerization you can add like I think a little bit more maybe five microliters but um, yeah and the amount of TMAD and APS is not written on rock you know you can change it up a little bit if you see based on the temperature in your laboratory and your um, percentage of acrylamide you can get a sense of how quickly you're getting polymerization so if you want to speed up the polymerization I suggest adding more APS and TMED and if you want to decrease it and you notice that it will polymerize as you're pouring it which has happened to me before um, you want to decrease your polyacrylamide your sorry TMED solution and APS now I'm just topping after pouring the solution um, once I added TMED uh, I'm pouring it into the gel I'm pouring it into the, um, the glasses and once you do that you want to make sure you top it up with some uh, isopropyl alcohol Otherwise, the line that is going to be created is not going to be straight. And that will make sure when it polymerizes, the top line will be really nice and straight. And another point is that you want to uh, pour it until like the bottom of the green line you see at the top. So you want to leave enough space for your stacking gel. Um, otherwise, you can't really... Uh, if you go too high you can't put your stacking gel and your comb in and you won't have a space to load your samples and you need that stacking gel so that your um, sample can align in the beginning of running your gel so that is an important point and um, yeah now I'm just topping the second gel with isopropyl alcohol don't worry, it will not mix with your stuff. It will just sit on the top and create a straight, um, nice line for the polyacrylamide to polymerize. So now I'm just labeling that the right one is a SDS one and the left one is a native one that doesn't have any SDS. But yeah, 
actually later I realized that I should have made a 10% solution for my native one but yeah you can see um, I suggest leaving a little bit of your sample in, in the um, in the bottle so that you can see exactly when it is polymerized once it's polymerized you can just dump invert your um, setup and dump the uh, isopropyl alcohol into the sink now um, yeah I'm gonna do the stacking gel and don't worry the isopropyl alcohol a little bit that might be left will quickly um, evaporate so for the stacking gel I'm making a 6% one for my 15% gels so everything's the same but the concentration of poly of the acrylamide solution is lower so you can it is recommended to do four percent but um, mine was taking a long time to polymerize and even overnight it wasn't polymerizing so i went up to six percent for my 15 percent gels this should be fine as i read um, online and yeah you want it to be a lower percentage um, compared to the bottom so yeah four percent or six percent for the top stacking gel is fine but another difference for the stacking gel is that you use a different buffer to make your solution which is i believe a 0 0.5 molar tris solution again i'm gonna put the exact description for these and the recipe in the bottom in case you want to read that um, it will be helpful and uh, yeah so again I'm adding TMAT to my solution and making sure before I pour it I mix it well so the TMAT is everywhere in the solution and quickly um, you want to pour it so um, it doesn't polymerize in your uh, tips that would be really bad um, and yeah you want to insert your comb very slowly because if you do it really fast um, you might get some bubbles or gaps um, between your wells and inserting it slowly will make sure that you have a nice um, stacking gel that is um, and you, you don't lose any of your wells by having air bubbles around them so that is my tip again i'm having a little bit of solution left in the tube so i can track exactly when the polymerization is happening also um, usually the polymerization happens more quickly inside the um, inside the glasses because there is no air um, but inside your tube there is air which can make the polymerization a little bit more slow so once you see that it's polymerized in your tube you know that it is also polymerized in your glass as well but usually i recommend wrapping your um, gels and leaving them in the fridge overnight just to make sure they are 100 percent polymerized firm and it will always just be a little bit better and yeah good luck running your gels if you have any questions leave a comment i'll be happy to